there is a particle moving along the circumference of a circle which has radius r and the center is o at one instant it is at the point a at the other instant it is at point b and the time passed here is dt if i draw a line here this line has a length dx now what i want to emphasize here that speed at a and speed at b are different how a motorcycle is going on a circle on a curve it is turning its initial speed was 40 and when it is turning it has given the acceleration so here the speed was 40 here the speed is 50 there is a change in speed and change in speed amounts to acceleration what is the direction of acceleration the direction of change in the speed here the change sorry the direction of acceleration is change in the direction of velocity these two points are very close to each other here the velocity was 40 then in the almost same direction the velocity is 50 what is the change in velocity direction answer this is because this was 40 add to this 10 and this has become 50 this is change in velocity and it has got the same direction the direction along the road this change of velocity is acceleration change of velocity per unit time is acceleration so here this is acceleration this acceleration has a particular direction what is that direction answer this is the direction this and this is what a tangent of this circle so this acceleration is known as tangential acceleration if speed of the particle making circular motion change what change speed change then it is having tangential acceleration the change in velocity is in direction of tangent so this is tangential acceleration what is its direction along the tangent okay now if this particle which is going at a speed of 40 here and 50 here is it having centripetal acceleration or it's not having centripetal acceleration answer is because it is changing its direction because it is changing its direction therefore it has centripetal acceleration because it is changing its direction from v1 to v2 this may be a little less or more doesn't matter this is the change and this change is always normal now if there is a change in the speed also then we say there is acceleration in the direction of motion of the motorcycle because this motion was 40 41 42 43 44 in the direction of the motion the velocity is increasing so it has one acceleration in its direction because it is turning there is another acceleration acting in centripetal so when only speed is increasing there is one acceleration in the direction of speed in the direction of velocity as well as if it is turning then there is an acceleration which is centripetal so if it is turning as well as increasing the speed it has got both the acceleration one is tangential and one is acceleration tangential and this is acceleration centripetal so a particle which is making a circular motion because it is turning at every point it is supposed to have centripetal acceleration at the same time if there is a change in its linear speed then we can say it is applying brake it is accelerating at that time there is an acceleration in its line of motion that is tangential acceleration so this is tangential acceleration this is 
centripetal acceleration. What is the net acceleration? Answer, the net acceleration is resultant of the two. This is net acceleration. Acceleration net. So, net acceleration, acceleration net is equal to root of acceleration centripetal plus acceleration tangential. This. In case it is not changing its speed, then this becomes 0. So, net acceleration is centripetal acceleration. In case it is not changing its direction, it is going straight then what is net acceleration? Only straight line tangential acceleration. But if it is doing the two, if it is doing the two, both the functions, changing the speed as well as turning, then net acceleration is this. So, remember this, changing direction turning centripetal acceleration equal to V square upon R. Changing speed, whether it is straight or turning a little, speed is always turned along the velocity direction. That is tangential acceleration, that is change in the speed per unit time. In this way, there are two type of accelerations. So, this is net acceleration during circular motion. Thank you.